Clay Diaz, Doisy. Dakota Dean. Doug Martin. Jaron Pinckney. Coach Martin, it's an opening thought from the game. Uh, well, obviously, uh, you know, for the first time for us uh, being out here in Grand Junction and participating in this tournament, uh, you know, it's, 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 you know, we're certainly proud of, of, of our guys and the way they competed in the game tonight. And um, so, you know, it's a good win. Coach, you've had a lot of close games this year. I mean, was it nice to see your team come out with those five runs early and take a pretty commanding lead early? Uh, yeah, right. Um, well, I have, I have seen quite a few games out here. We, we, I actually came out one time before in another, uh, with another uh, ball club in uh, 2004. So what I can tell you for sure, based on watching and being out here before, that I'm not sure a five-run lead is, is all that safe. Uh, maybe for our team, it's you know a little bit different because we do play a lot of close games. But uh, you know we were never relaxing at any one point in the game because you can't because those guys were uh, coming into this thing were hot. Uh, they have some good hitters, and we certainly respected uh, their lineup. So you know it was a battle, even though we might have been up a few runs early. This is kind of for you and Darius. I mean, when how much was he begging you to get into the into the game there in the ninth, and then and what did you tell your coach when you were heading back out there? Well, I told him I need my first complete game in the College World Series. He said, you get the first man, you got it. And I walked the second man, and he pulled me. Yeah, he had thrown, he had done every bit um, that he could do in terms of what we asked him to do. And you look at the, the, the numbers here, and 125 pitches uh, is enough, you know. So he more than did what he needed to do to help our baseball team, and it was just time to – you know, get somebody else in there to get him a couple outs. And, you know, hopefully, you know what, maybe we stay long enough uh, in this thing where he might be able to come back and throw again. What pitches were working for you out there? Well, early in the game, only my fastball was working. But when I settled in, all three pitches was working for me. You guys really put out fires. You, uh, you said he kept battling back. You know, they'd get a couple guys on or get something going. And then you shut it down either through pitching, you know, it's just striking out the rest of the side, or defensively. Is that way you guys have played all year? Right. Well, I think the strength maybe, and somebody asked us the other day, what is the strength of our pitching staff? And, um, you know, I, I think I answered that with their ability to not give up the big innings. And, um, you know, I think that's what he did tonight. And uh, through the way that he pitched. Um, and then also, we had a couple of nice plays defensively. I'm not real sure that we played great defense. Um, but what we did do is we had some big defensive plays at the right time. Uh, I guess one that really sticks out in my mind is, you know, when the ball was hit down the left field line and uh, Dakota runs over and, you know, makes the attempt to, to, to catch it, but uh, comes up and hits his cutoff man, and then the cutoff man relays, re relays it in there at home, and we, we nail the guy at the plate. So uh, that really sort of kind of kept the momentum, you know, on our side a little bit. But, uh, you know, Cordarius has done what he's done all year. Um, you know, I didn't even really look out there to see how hard he was throwing. I'm sure he did. Um, but uh, uh, what his strength is is just his ability to compete and, uh, you know, his energy that he has out there. I think you guys probably could pick up on that you know, pretty quickly. Uh, sometimes I have to get on to him a little bit to direct that in the right way um, and get us a little bit, uh, you know, overboard. But, um, you know what, I'd rather have a guy that's out there that has that energy and really you can tell he wants to do something. Um, you, you know that very quickly when he's pitching. Darren, you uh, lit a fire under these guys with that shot, man. Uh, talk about what you saw and uh, – also, if you can allude to, I heard uh, in practice uh, that you were sending some shots over Canyon View. So uh, how, how are you liking Colorado? A uh, two-part answer there for you. Well, in BP today, uh, I was feeling good. I was hitting the ball good. And then coaches told me to relay, uh, relay that into the game and told me to get all three of my swings off. So that's what I did. And Colorado weather, the thin air kind of helped too. Were you impressed with how far that traveled? Yeah. I, I thought, I didn't think it was a home run because I seen that bounce back in. So I was sort of running hard in third. <laughs> what pitch did you see there? Uh, it was a fastball. And uh, Greg.
for Darius. I mean, talk about something like that happening, you know, in the early part of a game for you, uh, you know, to be able to go back out there and have something like that where the team's pumped. How, how does that help you? I mean, it was a confidence battle. It helped the team. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We've uh, we've seen this this guy right here. Um, you know he's got some special uh, power. Um, he's still learning to be a hitter, um, but even when we're back home and we're in that thick humidity and in that thick air in Florida, um, you know he still puts on a show in batting practice. And if he'll keep working um, and keep learning how to hit, he's going to be a special hitter one day. Dakota, you guys put up a lot of crooked numbers there on offense. And- how much of your offense is one guy feeding off the next, feeding off the next? It's usually how it goes. If if one guy gets a hit, it's usually the next guy is a spark plug, and then it just keeps going and it keeps rolling after that. So we just feed off each other's energy, and that's how we do it. Was it, was it your four hole hair you squeezed? I mean, is that a, a common practice? Of both? Right. Well, yeah, I don't know that um, – you know, that you see that very often, and especially, you know, I think that was for our, maybe our seventh run. I, I'm not sure on that one. I know it will happen in the seventh inning, but um, on that play at the plate in the previous inning, uh, you know, Tanner's uh, index finger, like most ball players do, they stick it outside the, you know, the one finger outside the glove. And uh, when he uh, slid, kind of sort of, uh, split that finger open, he's actually having to get stitches as we speak. So, um, you know, we I think they had a meeting at the uh, mound and we sort of got together as a group and discussed it. And, you know, he was sort of kind of like, Coach, I think I, I might do, you know, best by just push bunting here and trying to get the run in. And that's something that we do, you know, sort of practice, you know, work on it, practice, and it's part of our offense when needed. We don't do it all the time, but uh, – you know, that probably, uh, you know, was the right move uh, considering his finger. Cordarius, when did you know you were going to get the start today? And, uh, you know, talk about kind of the preparation of making sure you were in the right mentality these past couple of days. Well, me and Coach talked at practice probably like before we came here. He told me I had the ball. And since then, I prepared myself good. I ate good. I ran. And that's what happened. And he walked. Uh, if you guys, if you guys come uh, anywhere around us near the hotel, uh, unless this guy's sleeping, he's out walking. It's, uh, it's, uh, well, I guess one of his habits that he has. But he can't sit still now. And uh, so, once I told him that uh, that he was starting, then you know he goes through a bunch of different pairs of shoes uh, because he wears them out. He puts in the mileage with the walking part of it, but. Uh, we're just real proud of him and what he did, and obviously real proud of the whole team. Anything else? Great. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you all.